Lysosomes are another organelle that is pretty important. Um, actually, some books call it an organelle. Some books say that it isn't a true organelle. But what they are is um, they're small and they carry digestive enzymes. And so their job is to digest materials that may not uh, be needed anymore. For instance, old worn out cell parts, damaged cell parts, uh, things that um, need to be repaired or are beyond repair and are actually need to be broken down into the smaller components. This is done in the lysosome. Lysosome also breaks down or tries to digest invading things into our cell like bacteria and viruses. When bacteria and viruses get into our bodies, they have to get inside of our cell. And once they get inside of the cell, we do have these lysosomes that release enzymes, powerful enzymes, to try to um, break them down so that they don't harm us. Now, uh, two types of movement, or these are proteins, actually, cilia and flagella, that we need to talk about because they extend from the cell surface and they're used uh, for movement. The first is cilia. Now, when it says it's in a 9-2 arrangement, that means it's protein and there is nine protein fibers and they're actually have uh, two there in the very center and nine fibers around it. So that's what's called a 9-2. I'm not going to ask you that. That's a little bit um, picky. But these are mobile or for mo mobility in certain cells. Now the difference is, is that cilia is very short and there's millions of them all over the outside of the cell. So their motion of movement is just beating back and forth um, from side to side. And they're very tiny and there's tons of them. And there's a lot of different organisms that can move by means of cilia. Paramecium is one of them. I don't know if you've ever heard of a paramecium or not, but they are aquatic protists, single cell organisms that live in pond water, and they move by means of cilia. The other, flagella, flagella is very long and whip-like, and it's really the main uh, motion for use in bacteria. Bacteria typically like the E. coli in your gut. They definitely have um, flagella, and it's whip-like. It's very long, and it whips back and forth a lot like a bullwhip, and it propels them forward. So with the two, flagella is longer, has a whip-like motion, and there's usually less than 10, but there's not very many. You usually only see one or two. With the cilia, there's thousands of them. They're tiny, and they extend, and they're just beating back and forth all the time. So those are two completely different types of motion, but they're both uh, types of protein and made of the same kind of protein. The only cell in the human body, actually, that has flagella is male sperm. Um, there's nothing in the female body that has flagella. Uh, we do, on some of egg follicles, uh, have cilia, but uh, the only flagellated cell in the human body is um, male sperm.